Uh, I would now like to call to the stage our partner, Direct Director General Kazeki. Yeah. Are we doing already? Okay. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you, Fita. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is okay. Yeah, thank you, Peter, again. Um, I would like to take this opportunity to express my sincere gratitude to all of you for participating in this summit. I would also like to convey my deep appreciation to Mr. Dalbello, Mr. Bate, Mr. Akita, Ms. Melroy, uh, Mr. Okada, Mr. Manieritz, Ms. Flamini, and Mr. Ishii for their provo provocative keynote speeches and the wonderful Kanpai toast. In particular, I would like to express my sincere appreciation uh, to the expert of the Secure World Foundation for their effort in organizing this summit. Actually, when we considered the idea last summer for co-hosting this event in Asia, uniquely by the government of Japan and the established non-governmental organization, we couldn't imagine such a great success. I thank again for all the enthusiasm of dedicated staff, of course, including uh, Mr. Murayama, Mr. Ito, Mr. Hayash, uh, 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 yeah, uh, Mr. Hayakawa from our side, and uh, Krista Lazerton, she's missing this week, and, uh, but she led a lot, and Ivan, and Nakamasan from Secure World Foundation, and many colleagues and friends. Thanks again for your uh, efforts. I also recognize uh, the engagement and the uh, uh, participation of younger people, or young people, which will, I believe, pave the way uh, for the talent ecosystem for the sustainability of space. So that is a very good movement indeed. I really appreciate of it. Now, uh, let me recall discussions at the, uh, this conference. With so many insights, ideas, and implications, it is very hard to summarize discussions, but I will try to do by reflecting uh, several aspects which I introduced in the opening Remark. Panel session three, for example, was about partnership and capacity building on space exploration. I was impressed by the fact that so many international cooperation have been uh, going on in space exploration missions. For example, I space mission one only accounts for at least three international partnerships, namely Japan, Canada, UAE, and Luxembourg. I believe these pa partnerships will contribute to space uh, sustainability by minimizing duplication of launch and raising awareness of effective information sharing. In panel session four, SSA capabilities and future uh, possibilities were presented by Asian countries. We must admit the current SSA is less than perfect and relevant international or regional cooperation, including in Asia, are desired. But putting it another way, there are a lot of opportunities in coming years. In panel five, a crucial question was raised, uh, which should we focus on, for example, debris mitigation or debris remediation, or binding agreement or non-binding agreement. There are many discussions. Well, obviously, uh, all approaches are necessary, and research and development play a key role for this aspect. And rulemaking, obviously, is very important. And through the other panels and sessions, we identified a bottom line, the role of policy and regulatory frameworks for space sustainability. Sustainability of space activities cannot be ensured by one country or a space agency alone. Uh, we need a holistic approach, whole of government approach, whole stakeholders approach. All players in space activities need to work together. It is also important to facilitate any player's effort to implement sus sustainability measures and consider ways for collaboration 
such as uh, international and regional cooperation and industry academia government uh, collaboration. I believe that we have success in achieving our goal of fostering common international understanding. This is a result of active discussion from a wide range of governmental, industrial, and academic perspectives. And it was accomplished because of all of your symposium participants and representatives from many uh, countries and international institutions involved in the use of outer space. I would like to reiterate Japan's commitment to contribute to international discussions on space traffic management, for example in order to ensure the sustainable use of outer space for ensure and, uh, and ensure the uh, current and future uh, generations uh, benefit. Actually, now it's time for action. So that is a word which my boss, uh, Takaichi-san, frequently says at any, many uh, conferences and places. Action is a key. Now, the UN Summit of the Future is to be held in New York this September, where the sustainability of space will be also discussed. Japan intends to actively contribute to the discussions of sustainability at this meeting as well. Uh, space sustainability matters because space activities play a significant role in addressing global challenges and providing social and economic benefits. I'm very proud to be part of this effort. I ask for your continued support and appreciate value the participation in this symposium. Finally, I also acknowledge our collaboration with Space Tide, uh, which is APAC's uh, leading commercial space conference led by Ishida-san and many other colleagues, uh, which was held in, in particular in Monday to uh, Wednesday and Thursday, Friday, uh, this uh, conference. I believe forum participants enjoyed a fruitful one week, a series of discussions, series of uh, outcomes, takeaways uh, for space in Japan. Hope you have a time for uh, tourism uh, the rest of the day, I hope, Saturday or Sunday. Thank you again, Peter, and I conclude my remark. Thank you again for all. Thank you. Lisa. Thank you, Director General Kazeki. Your excellent summary of the salient uh, outcomes of the conference made my job a lot easier. So I would like to express our great appreciation to our co-host and partner, mm -hmm. uh, Director General Kazeki and his staff in the Cabinet Office. It was really a great pleasure to work with all of you. And uh, also, I would like to thank all of our sponsors and partners. Thank you. Without your support, this event would not have been possible. Also, I want to thank all of the speakers and panelists who shared their experience and knowledge with us during this past two days. And also, of course, the audience for attending this event and for your active engagement during our deliberations. I'd also like to thank the director and staff of Mirai Khan for the use of this excellent facility and for their excellent support for this event. Uh, also, I want to thank um, Schick Productions, Prime and JSF uh, for all the backstage production support, uh, not only for those of us here uh, in person, but also attending online. Uh, their support was uh, really excellent. Next, I want to thank the Summit program team that put together the program for the past two days. And at this point, I would like to ask the Summit program team to please join me on the stage so that we can recognize their efforts. <laughs> please, let's give them a round of applause. And that's us. <laughs> please. <laughs> please. Okay. Specifically, I also want to thank uh, Crystal Azelton and uh, Ian Christensen, the summit co-chairs. They've worked tirelessly for the past year uh, to plan and organize this event. Crystal, unfortunately, was unable to join the summit in person, but the smooth running of this event uh, without one of the key uh, co-organizers present is a testament 
to how well it was organized. And so uh, we really are uh, we're disappointed that she couldn't join us, but uh, the successful outcome of this summit is a great testament to the job that she did. So thank you, Crystal. We really appreciate all of your efforts. Now, an event like this requires a great deal of preparation and behind-the-scenes work. And during the past couple of days, you've seen a number of the program colleagues on stage. But I'd also like to take this opportunity to acknowledge all of the folks that you may not have seen who've been supporting us from behind stage. So I'd now like to ask them all to join me on stage. Do we have <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, please join me in giving them all a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Thank you. So these are the people that brought the summit to you, and thank you very much. I really appreciate all of your work behind the scenes. So um, this brings us to the end of our sixth summit for space sustainability. We hope you found the summit informative and useful in how you incorporate sustainability thinking and considerations in your day-to-day -day work. Um, it may not come as a surprise to you that we are already thinking about the next summit and we look forward to reflecting on the progress made and the next steps towards space sustainability. In the meantime, let us all do our part to keep space a safe, stable and secure operating environment for all space actors and for future generations. Thank you all and safe journey home.